And now we can talk to Roderick Y from Chatham House in London. Hello, thank you very much for joining us. So as I was just mentioning Hello. there, uh, Wuhan uh, high school students are rejoining uh, high school students uh, across the country uh, by going back to class. But Beijing has says um, that it won't let the uh, World Health Organization into the country to investigate the origins of the virus. Um, why not? I mean, it's looking like it'll be a very long time before the pandemic is over. So if China's getting back to normal, why not look at the origins of the uh, outbreak? Well, that's a very good question. I think uh, uh, part of the reason at the moment is because of this huge uh, row that they're having with the United States over the origins and whether or not it was in this uh, laboratory in Wuhan and the Chinese uh, just are not in a mood uh, to entertain anybody uh, investigating that. Although in the longer term, I think it is absolutely essential for all of us to find out exactly how this uh, pandemic originated. Now, if we just look at uh, South Korea for a moment, because uh, not that long ago, it was the worst hit country outside of China. Now the government uh, is relaxing social distancing rules and uh, high school students are set to go back uh, to school next week. So what's this down to, do you think? What uh, was the government's strategy? Uh, in Korea? I, in I South Korea. Are, yes. Um, I mean, they are feeling that they have this... Uh, uh, outbreak under control, uh, that they are now able to gradually uh, relax uh, some of the restrictions. Uh, and anyway, uh, they have in place, I think they feel that they have in place a very good sort of uh, testing and contact, contact tracing regime, which they feel can deal with any further uh, instances of, of this virus. Uh, turning up. So they feel that it is time now to try and get back to a little bit more normality. Uh, and they also have a population who have been uh, really rather good at uh, observing social distancing and these kind of things. I'm glad you mentioned that because that is a very interesting point uh, because I understand that in Taiwan, for example, they didn't have to impose a total lockdown. But if people are going to comply with social distancing rules anyway and wear masks, then perhaps there's no need to. Is that something that these countries, South Korea and Taiwan and perhaps other countries in the region, have in common then? Well, they do have, what they do have in common is this experience with uh, SARS uh, over a decade ago. Uh, and they realized both, uh, particularly Taiwan uh, and South Korea, that it, it's necessary to take uh, strong preventive measures urgent, uh, quickly uh, and rather than sort of let this thing uh, burgeon out of hand. Uh, they were quick to act in terms, I mean, the Taiwanese very quick to act in terms of uh, uh, controlling travellers from the mainland, uh, from putting in place, uh, which they already had, good, good effective contact tracing. Uh, and it, it's this mixture of contact tracing and uh, sensible public health uh, regimes such as social distancing uh, that seem to be seem to have been very effective in both Korea and, and Taiwan uh, without the need for quite such um, draconian uh, measures as lockdowns. And so they've been able to control the virus without uh, suffering the kind of economic damage that many other places have. That's the thing. For example, in Hong Kong, places like cinemas and bars are reopening, we understand, from Friday. That seems a very long way off uh, in countries like where we are right now, France. Um, is there, though, is Europe always going to be catching up, trying to catch up with Asia in a sense? Um, I'm not sure if I'm expressing it correctly, but um, are we always going to be a step behind or can we learn from countries in Asia to perhaps uh, improve our situation in Europe? Well, I hope that we can. Uh, I think uh, we're sort of seeming, it seems to me that we're sort of starting in different places. Uh, in, the, in Europe now, in many countries, the outbreak has become so widespread that it would be perhaps uh, not possible to return to the kind of uh, measures that uh, have been so successful in, in some Asian countries. Uh, but the elements are still there. I mean, they're common to all of us. Uh, it needs to be strong personal hygiene in terms of uh, particularly of hand washing. Uh, there needs to be sensible ob observation of uh, social distancing. Uh, and there needs to be a very effective uh, 
regime of testing and of contact tracing. And if you can get all those elements in place, as they seem to have done in Asia, uh, then it, 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 you know, it, it is possible to control this virus. But they haven't completely, um, you know, it's not, it's not back to uh, pre-coronavirus normal. It is still a very, uh, you know, social distancing and uh, personal hygiene are still very, very important elements. Absolutely. You're right to point that out. Thank you very much indeed, uh, Roderick Y, for joining us from uh, London. <laughs>